Back on the show is James Terry, who's got a big fight coming up here against Justin Baseman at Bellator 165 on November 19th. James, what's going on, man? Oh, man. You know, living life, living the dream, as they say. Good for you, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, you and I last spoke before your uh, last fight at CFC2 against Buddy Wallace back in April. You got the unanimous decision victory in that one. Uh, overall, were you happy with your performance in that one? Uh, I mean, no, because I didn't finish the fight. Um, but, you know, I, I was able to impose my wrestling on him, which I, I really don't do that many fights. I, I like to, you know, stand up uh, stupidly sometimes. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I, I was not happy, but my jiu-jitsu coach was very happy with me. Um, you know, he promoted me to brown belt after that. Oh, so congratulations. So Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really wanted to finish. I, I always want to finish. So it was, it, was, it was a good fight for control and stuff, but it wasn't the way I wanted to fight. I broke my hand really early in the fight. Uh -huh. and, um, so the last two fights, I broke my hand, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, I was just trying to overcome that and, uh, you know, buddy's a tough dude, man. And I, I, I knew he had, a, I knew he could bang. I knew he wanted to brawl with me. Um, so I'm just put him on his back, you know, see, see how he dealt with it. And, um, he didn't deal with that very well. So I, I kind of stuck to that game plan. Now, uh, you mentioned about breaking your hand in that fight. Is that the reason you're, you're fighting all the way here in November or did, was it just a matter of not being able to get fights? Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit of both. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of waiting on Bellator. Um, I, I think a lot of the regional shows want me to fight, or you know, they they try to get me in a fight in the show. But I, I'm I'm at a point in my career now where I want I want big fights, and you know I want to be stepping up. If I'm not fighting um, on big shows and uh, you know with good exposure against uh, really top notch opponents, I just don't feel like I should even be fighting. Um, I'm 35 years old. I have a lot of experience. And um, I should be at the top. I've been fighting at the top for a long time. And, um, you know, I, I need opportunities. I want opportunities. And I'm only going to take opportunities that are worth, worth my while. Totally hear you on that. Um, how many fights is on this Bellator contract? Or is it just a one-fight deal? Yeah, I'm going to have a Bellator contract. So, um, yeah, this is one fight. I, I had a Bellator contract. I think I explained that. I think that was you who explained it last time that, uh, I had one, and then I lost that real close decision to Andre Santos, and he got the title contention fight against Paul Daly, and I got kicked to the curb. So, uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I, it's a one fight contract. It, it's cool. I mean, I'm getting put on on, on the uh, card. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, but I'm of course looking. I, you know, I'm right in the cusp of them signing me, I believe, and uh, I've heard through the grapevine. So. I, I need to be signed. I, I think I can beat anybody. I've, I've, you know, I've said that over and over again. So, um, you know, the cards have to align. Wise Ben once said that the stars have to align for things to work out, especially in an in a individual sport. You know, um, I was talking to one of my sponsors recently, and, you know, he's really stoked on me. He's, he, you know, he's had my back. He, he knows, you know, what level I've been fighting at for many years. He's always been you know, my guy. And he was like, you know, man, in this game, it's like you go up one step every time you win and then you go down three or four, just in general, not me specifically, you go down three or four when you lose a fight. So, um, you know, I just haven't been able to string these like wins to get like four or five wins together, you know, in a while. Uh, and I've lost these really close decisions. So I understand both ends of it, but I, of course, am a little biased. I think I should be fighting the main card. Um, I think that um, you know, I, I think that I won or was winning every one of my Bellator fights. So I think very highly of, of my skill set, and I think I can beat all these guys. And um, I'm looking forward to putting on an awesome show November 19th and just showing everybody what I'm all about again, you know? Excellent. Uh, let's talk about the matchup against uh, Justin Baseman. Uh, how do you think you match up against him? I think I match up well against anybody. So I'm... Yeah, I mean, I think I match up well against him or whoever. Um, I'm very dynamic, and I have a lot of tools to use. So I think Justin is a super tough dude. He has a lot of fights. Um, you know, he's a hard guy to finish. So if I can finish him, it says a lot for me. Um, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. I, me and him have fought uh, on, on a similar show or uh, the same card. Uh, we've been kind of like uh, social network friends for a while, talk back and forth. Uh, he fought Buddy, you know. Um, yeah, so I mean, I I think he's a good I think he's a good opponent for me. I think it's a great 
opponent because me and him are uh, two of the top, if not the top Bay Area uh, welterweights. And, you know, I've been in that category for years. So I I'm looking to fight all, all the tough guys uh, in the Bay, of course. And I'm looking to fight all the tough guys, period. So whoever, you know, they want to bring, I match up well and um, I'm going to beat everybody. And you mentioned him fighting Buddy Wallace. Uh, he's actually lost to him twice, and you just defeated Buddy Wallace. Uh, does that give you a little bit more confidence going into this one that you've, you know, kind of taken out a guy that he, he hasn't been able to defeat? Uh, you know, MMA math doesn't always add up like that. So I, I could um, think like that and then maybe, you know, put Justin, you know, put Justin as a, a, you know, in the back of my mind or whatever you want to say. But no, the, I, I don't like to think like that because Justin is a, a different opponent. You know, he's he's freaking tough and he's a different matchup. He's a different style. Um, and I'm going to have to figure that out, whether he lost a buddy. Uh, you know, it was it was a close. I watched I watched those fights. They, they were close, you know, with the exception of the one that Justin got caught by a buddy who hits very hard. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it could have easily been that, uh, you know, Justin won two, two or all three of those. So, um yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to be more confident because I beat that guy. The math don't add up. But when I beat uh, Justin, and then I beat, you know, I already beat Buddy. Um, you know, th then I'll kind of be in that place where like, yeah, cool. You know, but not right now. It, you got to be. You got to fight worried. If you don't fight worried, if you don't have fear of your opponent, then you're leaving yourself open for many attacks. And I will not be that stupid. Good stuff. Uh, who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, I train at uh, Combat Sports Academy, and I train at Gorilla Jiu-Jitsu. So, you know, I'm coached by uh, Dave Camarillo over at Gorilla. And then, uh, you know, I'm one of the coaches and also being coached by the guys at Smash. So Smash is a, is a gym here in the Bay Area that's uh, really been growing a lot. We have three gyms. I train at two of them. So one of them is headed by a, a Ruyat, who used to be a Kung Lee uh, student. And, uh, you know, Rudy has, is at his own gym, his own successful uh, quite large fight team out here for the last 10 years since I've been fighting and um, uh, it's awesome to be able to work with him because we've we've uh, uh, you know been been friends uh, acquaintances and friends for a while you know and and now I actually get to have a really good relationship with him and he's a really fantastic coach you know and then like I said the combat sports academy I get to work with all those guys over there um, it's awesome you know I'm, I'm the wrestling coach over there and, and I get to go in and train with the fighters and uh um, you know, they got some of the guys from the, uh, the Ultimate Fighter that's going on right now, including my buddy and former Kung Lee teammate, Adam Anselin. Go Adam. Oh, nice. He's, nice. He's going to fight, fight next week, so I'm stoked for that. But, yeah, uh, uh, I'm in a good place, man. I, I, got a, I got three gyms with different training partners, different coaching styles, and I'm able to kind of go in there and cherry pick what I want to work on and, um, you know, just work hard like I always do. How's the cut to welterweight going? Has that process started already? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to diet or I'm just going to turn into a big old fat kid, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> I, if I don't diet, I'm like 200 and something pounds. So I'm always, you know, on, on, on somewhat of a diet, uh, you know, eating healthy. And, you know, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to not get ready for fights. I'm stay ready. So um, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm usually 10, 15 pounds over right now, and I'm right on track with that. And um, I feel great. I mean, I used to cut that 155, so um, – 170 is, is a cakewalk for me. I have it down very systematically. Uh, you know, I'm always changing things here and there to see what's optimal for me. And I've done some changes in this camp, uh, strength and conditioning wise, and also diet wise. And uh, they've all worked out. So I feel great. What are your thoughts on uh, Rory McDonald joining the promotion? You're in the welterweight division. Uh, is, is this exciting for you? Is this some guy you want to fight? Like, what's sort of your thoughts on it? He's a beast, man. I mean, God, man. You're Canadian. I don't know. Go, go Canada. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's tough, man. He is tough. It would be an honor to fight him. Uh, he's been against some of the best guys in the world. And, uh, it, it, that, I mean, it's great for Bellator. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, he's a tough dude. And I would love, love to fight him. Uh, you know, all due respect to him. Uh, I, I think that, you know, all good – fighters real fighters they want to fight the best guys and and I'm, I'm i'm right there with them you know i want to fight all these tough dudes man that's why i don't want to be fighting these damn prelims man right you know yeah. i mean i'm not saying justin is not the best guy i'm not saying that at all i'm i'm you know justin fought in the main card before and stuff like that but you know uh i i want to fight i want to fight the dudes that bellator thinks is the main guy and they're trying to hype him up and i'm like dude 
what's up? Like, they're because I see them. I see what they're doing. You know, much respect to Bellator, but they put up. They have these guys that are like kind of like, oh, I'm gonna put this guy against this guy because he matches well. Fuck that. None of those those guys. We want to see how tough those guys are. Why don't you put them up against somebody like me instead of cutting these dudes and putting them up against dudes that match up well for them? Because I don't match up well against nobody. Straight up. So, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to take this to the top. So, fuck yeah, I want to fight Rory McDonald. <laughs> nice, I like it, man. Uh, November nineteenth. How do you see this fight ending? Uh, openings, man. You know, I take the openings that are given me. I don't go in there with a preconceived idea of uh, what's going to work and what's not going to work. I have game plans, and uh, I cycle through those game plans until my opponent breaks or I see an opportunity to finish the fight. So, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, like I said, Justin's a tough guy. He's a really tough dude to finish. He's only been finished a couple times in, in 31 fights, I believe he has. Um you know, I'm I'm gonna go out there and just exploit opportunities and uh, and just do my thing. So uh, I don't want to make a prediction. Um, I am not, you know, Mystic Mac. I'm just over here, just <laughs> I'm just over here doing my thing. So I will take opportunities that that present themselves to me, and when they do, I will seize the moment. Uh, last question for you here. We talked about this last time. You uh, went to a couple of San Jose Shark games. Have you been to any games this year? Planning on going at all? Uh, dude, I'm totally planning on going. I want to go to the game the Monday after my fight. That's that's the plan. Me and my wife are talking about getting tickets there. Uh, I haven't been to a game yet. So, excuse me. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm stoked, man. I I uh, I can't I can't wait to be able to go to a game and you know maybe have a hot dog at the game. So because the fight's over. <laughs> oh oh, and I get to have Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, oh yeah, that's God. right. Yeah, nice. Dude, dude, the last I think the last two or three years I haven't had Thanksgiving dinner because. Uh, I had a fight. One time I had a fight. Uh, Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, right? So, uh, so I had a, I had a, I had a weigh-ins on Friday, and then I had a fight on Saturday. And then last year I was fighting, uh, you know, December 4th. So there's, there's no Thanksgiving dinner for me. So, yeah, get a little Thanksgiving dinner. That's not really a Canadian thing, though, is it? Or is it a well, no, no, we, no, we have Thanksgiving. It's just ours is earlier. Ours is, like, uh, early October. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's before Halloween for sure, so. Well, whatever, I get to freaking eat some food, Yeah, man. <laughs> I was going to say, man, you get to yeah. indulge and enjoy it. Um, my last question for you here, uh, we kind of joked about this uh, as far as setting up this interview, and we talked about it in our last interview, but you calling out Ronnie from Jersey Shore. If you get the win here on November 19th, you're going to call it any reality stars, maybe like a Rob Kardashian or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fight them all. I'm going to fight them all. I'm going to punch all of them in the face, please. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> see if Bell- Bellator gives me some TV time, you know? Because I will make the most of it. I will. I guarantee that. Excellent. Well, we certainly look forward to it. Bellator 165 coming up here on November 19th. James, always appreciate you taking the time, man. Where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you got any thank yous, shout outs, sponsors, anything like that, man, the floor is yours. Awesome. So uh, intense one. Intense zero N-E. The O is a, is a zero. It's not a riddle. Intense one. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you can get me on that on Instagram. Uh, shoot. I was supposed to switch my Twitter. Twitter's James Terry underscore Ush. Uh, I might do intense ones soon. And then, uh, you know, I'm on Facebook or whatever. That's, uh, that's all the social media I do. Um, but, uh, you know, my sponsors, man, GFY Gear, day one. Uh, I, I appreciate them. He was the guy I was talking about, we were talking about earlier. Uh, you know, GFYgear.com. They hooked me up with all my gear. I really appreciate them. Um, you know, Cicepta and uh, Sports Molecular. It's a new supplement company that I've been using. Awesome for recovery, uh, cutting edge stem cells. It, it's it's like fantastic. So I'm I'm really stoked. I've been working with them for the last about year or two. So uh, sportsmolecular.com, Cicepta. Um, yeah, thank you guys. And then you know keeping my body healthy. I got Score Clinic in uh, on Meridian down in San Jose. Go there a couple times a week. They're always keeping my body on point. And then uh, my chiropractor, doc, Dr. Stephen King. Or sorry, I was going to say Stephen my, King. My that's a that's pretty my cool name. Orthopedic surgeon. That's the guy that fixed my hand. Uh, Dr. Uh, Stephen uh, Key, excuse me, Dr. Stephen Key, so Key Chiropractic, uh, you know, he's been keeping me right. And also, uh, you know, Mind Fit, I've been working with a, a, a mind coach. I'm going to say a mental coach. That sounds like I'm crazy. Um, but, yeah, I'm working with a, a mind coach. So, uh, you know, we talk about a lot of stuff, and uh, he's been helping me out. And then um, uh, SCS down in San Jose, Security Cabling Solutions, they've been helping me out. And, uh Thank you, guys. I, I appreciate you. Security Cabling Solutions, thank you. Uh, 
let's see, I guess uh, Lana's egg whites. Thank you, Lana's egg whites. They keep me uh, healthy. And uh, I don't know, man. I think that's about it. Oh, Morning Crane. Morning Crane. Keep my body on point. Chris Shelton at Morning Crane. Uh, thank you down at Willow Glen. He's been helping me out a lot. So I think that's it.